Um, the Isle of Man have always managed it. One of the oldest parliaments going, the House of Keys. Yes, absolutely. The Isle of Man, fantastic. I used to broadcast to the Isle of Man. Uh, Scotty, what do you think of the Alliance for Independence Group? Divisive or not for Scottish independence? Yes, I don't know a great deal about it, so I won't actually comment on it at the moment. I have to say the most dangerous people to Scottish independence are those who want a Scottish republic. That's very, very dangerous to independence. That may be the one that actually clobbers independence. Uh, so you need to embrace the monarchy under the crown. It's status quo. It doesn't involve any problem. And people need to stop cheeking up about the crown. The crown is almost self-financing. And it brings in, in fact, more than self-financing, brings in absolute fortunes. And we need to think about that. The half-witted idiots. The, oh, she loves an abacus. You know, just a lot of nonsense. And we need to get our head round that and put a stop to it. Uh, you don't do that, then you don't get your independence. That's a, a non-starter. It becomes a non-starter. And we don't want that. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Scotty, um, there we are. Kareem says he names two big politicians and made the Tories and Labour will never allow another Section 30 in the ref. Well, is it up to them to allow? Because we seem to be forgetting that the agreement at the Act of Union was that it was 50-50 between England and Scotland. So this concept of allowing shouldn't really come into it. Scotland has at least 50%, and the other 50% have to say, well, I don't see why not if that's what the Scottish people want, as long as it's under the crown. So there we go. So that's what we're saying. Scotty for Prime Minister, ah, Glenn Peacock. My goodness me, you wouldn't want to put me through all that, would you? <laughs> there we are. Although I would do it if I thought it would help the people. You know, I would do it if I thought it would help the people. I think it was a Labour politician and lord who complained to the BBC that made the BBC want to cancel Nicola Sturgeon's broadcast. Well, you see, we can't have that because the BBC has to be balanced absolute skills, the skills of justice, the skills of information. And the BBC should just be like that all the time. Yeah? And they have a good sense of balance. So that's something that should have been discussed, not by somebody complaining, but big, big discussion with the people. Because the people are paying for the BBC so should have our say, yes? Uh, Scotty, where do we go? Had our, where do we go? Had our, uh, there needs to be more, Glenn. I'll have to wait for some more. Right, can we all share, guys? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We need a lot more sharing going on here. Uh, I'm just going to share in a YouTube group. I think that's the one for us. Isn't it? Although, you know, a lot of the sharing, the problem with social media sites, if you're very successful, it sort of gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Yes, that sort of idea. It's as if they don't want you to be on there doing your stuff. Dinky do, Scotty, how are you? Says J Dog, J Dog. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Enough of the independence talk. More important issues need sorted. Frank, what could be more important than the future of your country? What could be more important? Give me a more important issue to be discussed, and we will discuss it. But if you think there's anything more important than independence, apart from COVID, then uh, do let me know. Uh, wonderful. Sorry, typo. Where do we go as the nation, bearing in mind this was predicted for a second wave a while ago? Yes, it was. And it's going to be very, very interesting. Excuse me. You should never, ever rub your eye. But I just did. Um, you know, I think.